I'm in need of an X-ray. X-ray, 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 X-ray. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before and you are already subscribed, I'm happy to have you all here again. So, you know, it's it's been it's been a few weeks. I have been having a lot of sleepless nights. I have been staying up researching, um, not about radiography in this case, because as you may or may not notice behind me, I have um, a storage shelf and some cubbies and stuff, and a mini little table behind me that needs to upgrade because it's way too small. Um, and that is because I am starting a business. So, it's a lot. You know, whoever said that's like starting your own small business as a solo entrepreneur is easy they lied and if you are a radiographer student or anyone who is interested in starting a business at any point in time just know it takes a lot of work a lot of research a lot of you know trying to find that confidence and getting over imposter syndrome because you're so accustomed working at 9 to 5 or so accustomed with the concept of just working for somebody else that when you want to start something of your own you get like scared and like nervous and stuff. I mean anxiety is normal, right? We know that in radiography with all our clinicals and competencies, it's normal to be anxious. Yeah, that has been keeping me busy, you guys. And apart from that, oh by the way, if you're interested in, in what business I'm starting, um, the name of it is a Misty Lux Aromatics and it's where I make my own handmade candles and soaps and vessels and stuff like that. So yeah, um, Right now I'm in the period of testing, um, so I have a couple of vessels there that I'm working on, learning about different things, honing in on the craft, you know, making sure that the product is luxurious and that I bring it forward in an eco-friendly way, so that's kind of what I'm working on. I actually have this giveaway that if you want, yes we're going off on a tangent, long time, if you want to join my mailing list by putting in an email address in the link below, you'll enter my giveaway to win a free candle, maybe I might throw in a little extra some some in there, but yeah, um, so win a free candle and yeah you'll also qualify for a discount when you sign up so even if you don't want the candle you qualify and get a little discount you know let's get into the topic of today this was actually dm to me someone messaged me and asked if i could talk about this so let me just give myself a quick refresher because they sent it probably a while now oh wow it's already been two weeks oh by the way i i got an ear infection it was the worst thing, y'all, if you ever feel like you have an infection or your air, have some stuff going on, go get it checked out because it affects everything. My balance was off literally, I felt like I was falling, I was always dizzy, I was sick, I was at one point vomiting my, my guts out even though I had nothing to bring up, sorry if you know if you want to think about the visual like that. It was horrible, it was a painful, painful week. Okay, but I'm getting better, still on medication, but you know, I couldn't even hear myself talk. It was that bad. Okay, so I feel like we talk about enough things already in this video. Let's get to the topic. The message said, I'm not sure if you already have a video on this, so I've talked about it, but if not, could you make a video about what kinds of things you see come in from day to day? I'm interested in this career, but I have to admit, I'm a little worried about what kind of injuries might come in for me to x-ray i'm not particularly scream i'm not particularly squeamish but i do think certain things would freak me out thank you so much for your time you see when i when i read your messages i don't know if you all want me to say your name so i usually don't say your names um but you all can let me know if you all care if your names pop up like just your first name or your username I should say pop up right but anyway let's address the first part what comes in from day to day so when you're doing x-ray as a general x-ray radiographer right we're not talking about CT and MRI and all of that just x-ray um, specifically accident and emergency x-ray because general x-ray main x-ray is just like clinic patients that come to get their fracture checked up on or to check to see how their body is 
um, responding to medication or to check to see why they're getting hot chest pain or whatever the case is right we're not talking about those what she's referring to is mainly the accidental emergency the trauma patients that kind of thing I think I have, a, I have a video on trauma you know on trauma x-rays how to prepare for it so if you haven't seen it I will link it in the icons above whichever side this is it'll be up there when it comes to trauma honestly in accidents and emergency we see a lot of things it can range from a simpler thing such as belly pain you know no blood no no messiness just you know belly pain chest pain heart pain maybe um normal things maybe you bounce your hand you hit your hand on a door you squeeze your hand on the car door maybe it's a little swollen you come to check to see if your finger might be broken not really seen anything just some swelling so we want to see what's going on right so that is a very common thing not that example in general but simple things are like generalized pain weakness that kind of thing so you'll get your typical chest x-ray abdomen foot pain you might have somebody who has diabetes so mm, yo if you're not in this yet you you will understand the, this this separate psychological trauma of a diabetic foot that is in a state i think the look of it isn't as scary as the scent because remember with diabetes the patients um they lose blood really easily amongst other things but it, their wounds take far longer and sometimes in some cases don't even oh that brightness came up anyway don't even heal as it should right so yeah you'll get stuff like that um i'm trying to think about if there's anything else but for the most part you'll get normal stuff like pain you hurt your hand you get lashed that kind of thing now we will step it up a little bit more where you start to see a little some some okay so maybe there are sometimes there are um domestic abuse cases where a woman or a child might come in and they're all bruised um they might be black and blue might have cuts and scrapes might see a little bit of blood or not maybe the wound might already have been bandaged and stuff and you go to you have to take the x-rays and stuff like the forearm the facial bones you know it, it saddens me every single time these type of patients come in to x-ray so this this section is not so much about the squeamish nature of it but it can be emotionally task tasking especially if you take it on and if you're an empathetic person not even just empathetic because as humans we would feel bad if you see somebody well if you're a normal person you'll feel bad if you see somebody going through pain or physical hurt right whether emotionally or physical or mental what for the cases right so that being said that aspect of it would be sad if you're working in with pediatric patients or children and babies you know you have the crying babies you might have a little dislocation so that's like the next level so the first level is internal pain you can't really see anything the next level is cuts and bruises and stuff like that and then the next level i would think because it depends on if you could see it or not would be dislocations so maybe a patient's um humorous um, might be out of the socket so you will see a big bulge to the front here because the humerus isn't at the um, glenoid cavity it's not to the front or to the back so you know they kind of warped a little bit you might see a finger that broken and maybe the finger bending this way and it's not supposed to be bending this way um, yeah you might see a little bit of blood depending on how graphic like how traumatic the accident was that brought them into the department and in some cases now we're stepping it up now there are cases where it's pretty like fairly gruesome right um and that would usually be motor vehicle accidents or motor vehicle accidents which we call mva for short and mvas can range from just a little bit flash so you might have to do like you know your c-spine and that kind of thing and then it could range to the broken femur and you know when the femur break is a large bone so it kind of it kind of bends and 
dislocate or sublux, right? So you know, there, there might be cases, if you saw my video on the types of fractures, you would understand the different types of fractures, like comminuted, open wound fractures, all of that. So check out that video too, if you want to see it. Um, so yeah, if you have an open fracture, open wound fracture, maybe you might see a little bone poking out, you'll see some blood. But um, something to mention though, when it comes to the blood aspect, if the patient is profusely bleeding, unless it's a real dire emergency, they don't come straight into the x-ray. They will see the doctor, first the doctor will kind of dress the wounds, the doctors and the nurses will dress the wounds, right? So it wouldn't be as if they're necessarily bleeding out on your table that literally. Um, they would likely, in most cases, be bandaged and the wound will be seen after, so to the point where it's not super messy but you may see some coming out of the bandage especially if it's like an MVA patient right so you might see some broken bones and stuff you might see bones looking like okay you can't see it on the outside but you know for sure it, it's not where it's supposed to be um so yeah stuff like that um that's that's i feel like that's a fair idea um yeah, you, you see a lot of things, it, it ranges, and not all the time you will have a crazy case where it's that gruesome, where you'll be squeamish. It really just depends on the type of centre you have, if you have a trauma centre, then yeah. All the accident patients coming to you, you never really know what to expect. So, you know, they put up damage yourself that way, it doesn't have to be an MVA, right? Uh, so it really it really depends it varies and you wouldn't always see the super gruesome stuff So I hope that, that answers your question and I hope that it gave you all some insight and yeah Thank you. I'm so happy to be filming this video because I've been wanting to film it one and I've been wanting to come back with some content as I've had like a two to three week hiatus. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and as I said with my new business that I'm starting up, I haven't even publicly announced it. I guess this is the first official public announcement but if you want to you know check out the brand, well you can't really see anything on the website yet, you can just subscribe to the mailing list and enter to win so yes thank you all again and i'll see you all. and well if the winner is from axtoracic you'll just let me know and i will try and throw in a little extra something for you guys because you know you're already day ones so yes thanks so much for watching and i'll see you all next time bye